we woke up on Thursday morning and uh, there was a hurricane overnight. Hurricane Zeta uh, came to visit us. It was a big tropical storm here, not only here at the Big Tent area, but also all over Atlanta. People lost power, people lost internet connectivity, uh, houses were down, there were some even casualties. And uh, when we arrived here Thursday morning, we were shocked because the orchestra tent was a complete mess. It was turned upside down. Uh, some of the tent, of the, our big tent, was ripped. Uh, everything was uh, drenched with water uh, and some serious damage to a lot of equipment. Um, and we didn't know whether we can go on or not. Uh, the, first, the first look, it, it looked really, really bad. And um, what happened was pretty incredible with this team of, uh, of stagehands and production and tech folks that just uh, got together and turned it around. And it's back again. A few hours later, we have a show tonight. The crew uh, came in. They didn't, they didn't balk. They just immediately got to work. Um, they started breaking everything apart. They started assessing the damage. They started looking at the dimmers looking at the, the tech tables, the light boards, the sound boards, uh, all of the microphones and equipment and started putting them back into their crates and making sure that they were stored under, under safety for the duration of the day. And then they started drying everything out and just seeing what was operable. Uh, meanwhile, you know, we, we tore down all of the tents that were destroyed, rebuilt new ones. Uh, by the end of the day, we were up and running again. It was the most amazing thing I think I've ever seen um, from just getting here and seeing the, the absolute chaos, um, having a completely dedicated crew, completely dedicated staff that just started digging in and working, um, didn't take a second to, to, to grieve the, the loss or to, or to think about how much damage there was. They just started working. It was really amazing to see. We have one of the best crews in the business. These guys um, are here for all the right reasons. You know, they want to be a part of something and they realize that what we're doing is more than about just putting on a show. Um, that this is a big moment for the industry and that uh, we're leading the way. And they really want to be a part of that as much as we do. You know, it feels really good to accomplish all of this. I think there have been a lot of milestones in this project and a lot of things that we've learned along the way and a, a lot of experiences that were more challenging than I think any of us thought they were going to be. Um, but I take a lot of pride in the people that I get to work with and the people who share the passion that I have uh, for getting this done. I mean, it, it's really, it comes down to the people. Um, and I think that's really cool and it's something that I'm really proud of is that we have the right people to pull off incredible things. It was the exact same crew. Uh, we would like to call in more people, but due to COVID and all that, you know, you're limited with who's been tested or not, but uh, everybody came through, you know. People like myself who travel an hour one way, you know, it was nothing. It was, okay, I'm waking up, give me a second, I'll grab a coffee, <laughs> you know, and I'll be there. We all came here and Yes, it was still a little rain, still a little challenges, you know, and our hearts were broken. All this hard work we put in is looked like it was in ruins, you know. But uh, every, like I said, everybody laced up their bootstraps and said, you know what, we've done it once, we've done it twice, why not do it again? You know, the rain beforehand, now the storm now. Uh, with a pandemic, I mean, we've had everything thrown at us. Look at us now, you know, we're ready for some more. The best part about all this is people are back working that haven't had jobs for six months. They're feeding their children. They're providing the way of life that they used to once have and to live an American dream. And to me, that's some of the blessings that's coming out of this. But you can't keep us down. You know, I said that to Tomer yesterday. I said, we've been through a lot. And, you know, as much as we'd like to say that I think it's over now and we won't go through anything else, I'm sure there probably will be, but you can't keep us down and we always fight back. And um, it's because we love what we do and that shows. I'm just a big believer that life is full of obstacles and what stands in the way become the way if you just approach it with a positive attitude. So this was a big obstacle. You come here on Thursday morning, the tent is on its head, everybody's down, but it's an opportunity to get them together as a team and turn it around and make a positive out of the situation and our life is full of, unfortunately, of those challenges. I look forward to 2021 when uh, presumably things will be better. But I think it's just a matter of uh, 
life and humanity, we always encounter obstacles and we just need to carry on. I think that each and every member of the team that is involved in this, from the orchestra to the stage to the singers, to the front of house, the Atlanta Opera staff, everybody realizes that this is way more than just a show. This is not just entertainment. This says something about our time. It says so something about our perseverance and our persistence because we were punched so many times in the face in the past few months and yet we always find a way to get up and continue the fight and the fight goes on.